Hi children, you are welcome to another English lesson. Today we will discuss how to write an effective informal lecture. You know, letters are very important because we want to write letters to our friends, relatives and to our family members. Today we will discuss informal lecture or personal lecture. You know what is the main characteristics of the personal lecture because that is informal because we are writing to our close friends or our family friends or our family members. So that is why we can use informal language, informal term. We don't want to make it an official or formal term. We can use simple and direct language. That's very important for your examination. And we will check today what are the main features of an informal lecture. What are the points taken to serious consideration while preparing, while writing an informal or friendly or personal lecture. Let me point out five important aspects of an informal lecture. I will tell you address part, salutation part, body of the lecture, complimentary close, signature. These are the five main areas to be taken serious care while preparing an informal lecture. If you are if you are writing a lecture, you have to check. I have written, I have state, given all these five points very clearly, vividly in your lecture. The lecture is complete and perfect. So let me tell you, before writing a lecture, any lecture, formal or informal, you have to take care of seven C's. What are the seven C's? If your lecture possesses these seven aspects, your lecture is complete or perfect. First one I will tell you, you have to take into serious consideration, correctness. Your lecture must be free from errors and it must be correct and appropriate to the situation, that is correctness. Then clarity must be there, second C, clarity. Clarity must be there, there should not be any ambiguity, any doubt for any kind of clarification. So your letter is perfect. Then next one, I told you the letter is complete. Because when you, uh, I told you the letter should have introduction, body, main part of the letter, conclusion. If you want to complete the lecture, uh, there will be an appropriate end. Your beginning must be okay. Middle part also should be complete. And all these three areas are complete. Your letter is perfect, complete. Then must be concise. We should not use any lengthy uh, content. We should use only whether the required, the needed things only in your lecture. Don't write unnecessary details in your lecture. It may not attract the reader to read your lecture. Your attempt is to take him interest in your lecture, should attract the reader. So that is why your lecture must be concise, brief, to the point, that is concise or short. Then courtesy, we should respect our, uh, you know, teachers, our friends, everyone we should respect. Okay, even if you are writing formal letter, Courtesy must be there because we should not be an authority because we are writing to higher people. So letter must be 
should have courtesy then next point c is consideration even we are writing informal letter we want to consider our reader even father mother whoever even to our friends there must be a consideration in your letter that is also a must needed necessary then correct i told you earlier these are the uh, seven c's in your lecture so the letter will be uh, an attractive even you won't lose even a half mark you can score it will fetch you full mark in your lecture and we will see what are the points to be taken into care i told you address part address part is very important you cannot write letter without address because you are writing informal letter you want to write your address at least uh, you know the main area place and date that is your address part example i will tell you uh, you know uh, grace mahal or garden villa any of the letter address you can write in short form then mg road or main road then write kerala goa any of the address then date 25th october 2020 like that but i will give you a specimen in the coming video uh, you know the perfect model of uh, an informal letter today we will discuss only what are the points to be taken care of while preparing a letter so you know so the uh, address part is complete if you write place and date your address part is complete then you write citation citation means you know you are writing to who to whom you are writing suppose your friend you can write dear shaji or you if you are writing your mother my dear father my dear mother or if you don't know the name my dear friend you can write that is a citation part then next comes you know the i told you body of the letter the body of the letter has three parts uh, you know introduction uh, then may, uh, main body or the main part of the letter and third one conclusion how to write an, an informal letter you can write in various ways you can write i will give you some models you can write how are you hope you are fine or hope you are keeping fine you can write i got your letting letter i got your uh, glad letter receive your glad, uh, glad letter receive uh, received your uh, you know um, then uh, loving letter i am glad to receive your letter i am glad to receive your letter or i am happy to receive your letter you can write like that or it has been delightful experience to uh, receive your letter or uh, it's a long time it has been a long time since since we wrote to each other in the different way you can start but you have to write the appropriate introduction to your letter you don't want to say any about the topic the topic only comes in the main part of the letter here you can and then you can write if you are writing a friend about your uh, vacation our school will close for vacation this month or next month have uh, revised for my examination because the letter depends upon the purpose of the letter the content is depending on the purpose what purpose you are writing letter you have to uh, direct your letter to that level so then the this is a, you know introduction part second part i told you body of the letter body you have to take care means what is the intention of your letter what is the purpose of the letter that has to include in the main part of the letter body body in the second para you can start suppose you are writing to your friend or writing to your, a letter to your uncle regarding or asking for a nice gift so you can write my birthday falls on such a date i am very happy to receive your uh, you know nice present from your side like that you can write depending on the situation or you are writing for a party if you are writing for a uh, vacation you are right you know we will have a lot of uh, a fun time this time we want to visit all these important places and such that you can add more sentences 
the last part that is very important because conclusion part because you are writing about you know birthday you can write we will uh, you know we will you, you have already said we visited or we will visit and write we will have a nice time together i am expecting you i am eagerly expecting your arrival i will be waiting at the railway station i will be at my home because uh, i am uh, eager to meet you such a type of words you can write then now uh, if you want to say anything convey my regards to everyone that is a, a complimentary close convey my love to all at home convey my uh, best regards at home because i shall come to see you soon or comes to then write glad to you know uh, be there such type of word hope to uh, meet you soon such words you can write that comes in the complimentary close last part is the letter signature because you are right if you are writing uh, to your family you are right you was affectionately or to your friends you can write you was lovingly there should not be any apostrophe after you are you was affectionately then you can write your name then sd so that your letter is complete in the next part we will learn how to write an effective letter with specific model thank you for watching this video